protests in Iraq over the past week have left more than 100 people dead and thousands injured, including security forces. Several members of the media have also been detained. Demonstrators say they're protesting high unemployment rates and calling for better basic public services, like electricity and water. But the initial protests were sparked by something else. Relatively unknown outside the country, Lieutenant General Abdel Wahab al Saadi enjoys widespread recognition in Iraq for his role in ridding the country of Daesh. He was part of Iraq's special operations force called Golden Division, created by the U.S.-led coalition that invaded Iraq in 2003, and a critic of Iranian influence. In September, the Iraqi government transferred him from his post in the army to an administrative role. Support for him is what kicked off the week of protests. But after the small band of demonstrators was dispersed, calls on social media for more people to come out and protest were put out. This time, in support of a much wider mandate, young men, mostly in their 20s, took to the streets. The protests started in Baghdad and some cities across the south. Amidst reports that the Iraqi army and police were firing live rounds, tear gas, and rubber bullets at the crowds. Iraq's supreme cleric Ayatollah Sistani issued a stern warning against the use of violence, saying, The government and the political sides have not fulfilled the demands of the people to fight corruption. Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi, who took office last October, said on state television that he would meet with the protesters for dialogue without armed forces. He blamed the unrest on malicious hands and outside interference. Ravaged by war for decades, the country's progress has been slow. But statistics show that over the past couple of years, unemployment rates have actually dropped. So why are people frustrated then? This is what Fanar Haddad, senior research fellow at the Middle East Institute at Singapore University, told Euro News. Uh, this is a culmination of years of anger and frustration. And uh, it, what we're seeing is a raw expression of uh, a rejection of the political system that has failed uh, the Iraqi people and the Iraq for close to 16 years now. It's also the case that thousands of vendors were removed from the streets over the past couple of months, causing outrage amongst the vendors. Authorities called a curfew in the days after the protests broke out and blocked the internet to curb the unrest, with access being restored late Monday night. The demonstrations broke out without public support from any major political faction in Iraq. The unrest comes only two weeks before the annual Erbain commemoration, when millions of people walk from the cities of Najaf to Karbala in the world's largest religious gathering. It marks 40 days after the anniversary of the 7th century assassination of Prophet Muhammad's grandson, Hussein. The event is set to continue as planned despite the unrest.